Hi, Valorous Music Tutorials here, and in this video I would like to show you how you can make a repeating track in Reaper. Uh, maybe if you're making a soundtrack meant for a video game. In this case, I have like an ambient soundscape song. Take a listen. You may notice that there are lots of lingering elements in these sounds after they stop, lots of ambience to it. And normally when I repeat, that stuff is carried over, because everything is controlled by MIDI right now. There isn't any actual audio. But you may find that when you export the track, it doesn't sound like that. Here's an exported version of the track, and take a listen to what happens when you repeat it. It just kind of cuts off and repeat, it doesn't carry over any of those elements. But there is a way around this. Let's move this aside for now. The main thing we want to do is to record this as it repeats, so we get an alternate beginning, so to speak. So we get an alternate beginning that has the lingering elements at the end. <clears throat> One way you can do this is um, you're going to want to have a track set below everything. There's just an empty track that you set below all of your other tracks. You click I.O. And in Add New Receive, you add a new receive for every track. Now in the bottom right corner, in this drop-down menu, click Record Output and Record Output Stereo. Single the track and Record Enable. Put your cursor somewhere towards the end of the track and then start recording. And there we go, we now have an alternate version of the beginning. So let's move this track down and move the original track over it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a crossfade. So first, we're going to have the original sound fade out, but don't put the cross fade all the way to the end. Because if you really zoom in, you may notice that these have a fade in automatically. The reason you don't want to take that away is because when the sound repeats, it needs that so it doesn't clip. If you remove that little fade in, that sound is going to clip like a nasty beast. <laughs> And you don't want that. So when you're moving the cross fade, the fade out, have it not affect this thing. It doesn't matter so much for the top one, though, because you have a fade in anyway. So for the top one's fade in, move that to the exact same place that the other one's fade out ends. So if you were to put them over each other, it makes an X or a cross fade. And it's actually going to sound quite natural, because every time that one thing is quiet, the other thing is proportionally loud enough to keep it at the same even volume that it would have been anyway. So take a listen. And now take a listen to what it sounds like when it repeats.
That's much better. It's much more like it was when the MIDI instruments were controlling it. And then you would export that. And that's that. But I'm sure that you've caught on to the one major problem here. You lose the original beginning. <clears throat> because of the alternate beginning, that's actually where the song starts now. And you lose the original beginning. The only way I can think of to get around that is inside the gaming engine, Unity or Unreal or whatever, you would need to start with the original track and then make it repeat with the alternate one. I'm not experienced with game development or any of those engines, so I don't know for a fact if you can do that, but I imagine that the more popular ones can do that. So that's the only way that I can really think to get around that. Other than that, you might just need to live with it starting with the alternate beginning. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found this useful. Have a great day.